I have a pimple on my lip. I just popped it and it still look ugly. Like y'all see this? But we gonna ignore the eye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Aaliyah. If you're new here, subscribe because if you ain't subscribed to me, I don't know what you're doing. So today we're doing something different. Today I'm making, well really tomorrow, I'm making barbecue ribs. Today I'm just prepping because tomorrow will be Sunday dinner and I'm making Sunday dinner. So I'm making barbecue ribs, um, mashed potatoes, and string beans. So, yeah. So I'm like pre-marinating or whatever. So this is the first batch and I realized, oh wait, I need another batch. So here's another batch in the sink. It's defrosting, it's warm now, so I'm going to cut it up the same way I did those, and then I'm going to get to seasoning. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open the package, wash your meat, and then take the membrane off. As you can see, that part right there is the membrane, and you want to take it off in order to have fall off the bone ribs. So you just pull back the membrane until it's completely off. So now you're going to wash the meat till it's thoroughly clean. For me, I personally like the fat on the ribs, but if you don't, just pull the fat off. It like You know it's fat when it easily pulls off by itself when you like tug at it. Okay, so I'm going to talk like this. That's nasty. I'm going to talk like this because um, I'm going to this for myself. So, but you know, the camera got to be like this awkward position. Anyway, so now you have your meat. Now, I didn't get all the fat off, like I like some fat on my meat, so. so now I'm going to cut them the way how I cut these ones. The way to do that, you flip it on the back, you count it out, well I think it's like 14 in each, but you try to cut them like between here where there's meat on still both sides of the bone so you find the bone and then you cut it from there. they meat they don't mean like literally take some dish detergent and wash the meat they mean like rinse off to make sure there's no blood left in because that's disgusting so the seasonings i'm going to be using is barbecue seasoning because obviously we're making barbecue ribs poultry seasoning because this is a type of meat cajun seasoning because you know you some spice meat tenderizer paprika garlic powder adobo the lemon and pepper one and of course, you know, dandy old black pepper.
You're going to preheat your oven to 350. So it's the next day and I'm now taking the ribs out of the refrigerator because they're done marinating. I'm setting them onto the pan a certain way but then I realized I didn't like this way so I started all over and I fixed them so all of them could fit perfectly in the pan and then I put it into the oven. So while I wait for the ribs to finish cooking, I'm now going to start on my mashed potatoes. And um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do at first, so I decided to do curry mashed potatoes. And I peeled my potatoes and then put them in boiling water. I peeled my potatoes the old way, old fashioned way because I don't use a potato peeler. So I'm now cutting the potatoes up into smaller sections because if you the smaller you cut the potatoes, the quicker that they can boil in the water, so then they'll be more softer so you can make them into mashed potatoes. Now what you want to do is rinse the potatoes off because I don't know where these potatoes been at. So you wash them off just to make sure there ain't no bugs crawling on them, no dirt is on it, like because you ain't going to eat no grainy potatoes. You then put your potatoes in some boiling water in a pot until they're cooked and soft. So I'm now going to make my string beans. I wanted fresh picked string beans, but instead I had to do with these because of the pandemic, whatever. So what I learned from my cousin, I helped him one time make string beans. So if you're using fresh string beans, you just pop off the ends of them and then you know, the ends in the garbage, and then you put the rest of it into the pot. So I'm making garlic string beans, so I'll be adding garlic to the string beans later. In the process of doing the string beans, I realized that my meat was almost done, and I needed to make the barbecue sauce. So I simply just opened up the barbecue sauce. It's nothing special. It's an off-brand type, and I tasted it, and it tasted pretty good. But I wanted to add some spice, so I put in... Tiny pepper and black pepper and mixed it all up and then put them on the ribs and then put the ribs back into the oven so they can cook some more. I then proceeded to wash the string beans because, like I said before, they're a fresh vegetable or an ingredient. So that means they've been on the ground in the field. So I have to clean them to make sure nothing is on them. I then prepped the string beans for sauteing. So I put oil and butter and minced garlic into the pan and then put the string beans in after and then put it onto the back burner so then it can cook while I prepare the mashed potatoes. Because I had to use one hand to record, I wasn't able to record the rest of what I put into the mashed potatoes, but I put in milk and butter and I mixed it up. I then added curry powder and black pepper and mixed it all up. I just continued to mix and add curry as desired and I was waiting for the string beans to be finished. And this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um...
yeah so i was i was just sitting in the car watching videos and then i got bored and i was like wait i didn't record anything for this week now i need something to record this for this week which i haven't well mm, i tried reloading the other video that i recorded two weeks ago but it's still being in this country don't know why i was like all right i'm gonna just make a vlog a vlog of what you ask I don't know. Yeah, so I got bored, and here we are. I noticed you guys, like, drive with me a lot. Like, that one had, like, the most views on my entire channel ever, so. I have homework to do because I'm behind in, like, one of my classes. Like, so bad, y'all. Like, ugh, I haven't even touched her stuff at all. I had to do her stuff. Because she emailed me worried about me. I registered for classes yesterday. And um. I don't know what was wrong with me. I, I wanted to do six classes. While also working. Multiple jobs. Anyway. I was basically asking for a death sentence. If I plan to do that or whatever. No but the next time you see me. I won't be in the car. I'll probably be in the supermarket looking for more things. Because I do want to start doing smoothies like making smoothies for myself but yeah probably moisturize my lips because i'm looking real crusty right now but i'm look i look crusty all the time on here so yeah see you guys in the store in the store and then home yeah okay